Hello, peoples. It is that one who you call you, Bob. I mean, there's some people who call me Bob, but Balthazar, the destroyer of worlds or something. But, you know, I like to stay away from those people, you know, brush it under the rug. Uh, first thing, before I get into this, I want to touch on what's happened to my channel. Why has, like, three, two, f four, three fourths of my videos gone away? Well, you see, after I posted the Ghost Town Instrumental 2008 Smother clickbait, BS in the title, of course. Um, I got a copyright strike, and the, you know, now, yes, sort of annoying that I can't upload stuff more than 15 minutes, because that sort of conflicts with the very nature of my content, but, um, I really, I made this video somberly titled, An Explanation. It was like, you know, the, a soothing <laughs> moon passing through clouds, and it was all very somber, and, you know, I feel it shouldn't be that. It should be I downloaded a song I wasn't supposed to, and then committed a double no-no, and shared that with all of you. You know, I think it should just be, I got a copyright strike, I did, because I did something I wasn't supposed to, and that should be the end of it. Yeah, it kind of sucks that for six months my videos are limited in time, but you know what, that's what happens. Alright, um, anyway, on to the actual video. Today, we're looking at Underground, and Underground is an album by Ariel Pink, his first, well, not first album, he had like 60 million albums before this as Ar Ariel Rosenberg and Persian Saren Gary and Paper Mache and a few other bands. Bianca comes to mind, uh, you know, just under tons of names and musical pro. Sorry, I just broke something. Uh, tons of names and projects and stuff. And um, so this is his first Haunted Graffiti album underground but even then no not really uh, I'll get to that in a moment um how did this come to be uh in the late 90s in art school Ariel had this band called the Appalachians and basically they played well music and they played live shows and it's actually how Ariel met John Mouse and um so in Sept in no not even September um August of 1998 I believe yeah that's the story um that's the story I heard, um, they got this idea, hey, let's do a live album, let's do a studio album, you know, Sony is into it, and we could even have John Mouse help out with it, and, um, so this was recorded from September 1998 to February 1999, um, it really, it's only driving to the grave, to my knowledge, that was recorded in 1999, but, uh, we'll get onto that first. In 1998, this isn't actually the first release of this, there was Cemetery's Railroads, which is basically this, except um, Tract 15 is Tractor Man, and then in Cemetery's Railroads, instead of dri going into Driving in the Grave and ending, it goes to um, Spires in the Snow, and then alternate version of, of uh, Sensitive Man. But here it goes Tractor Man, then just ends with Driving to the Grave. Um, that's the only difference I could find, and the way to tell these apart is, I mean, not that you'd ever see a late 90s Ariel Pink album in the wild, but assuming you do, you might say, oh, Sam, well, I mean, how do I know which one is different? I want, you know, Underground, or I want Cemetery's Railroads. How do I know which one I'm getting? Uh, you see, right here, I don't know if you could tell, but it says Underground. Cemetery's Railroads, first of all, these blocks are grayer than it is blackish on here, and it does not say Underground on there. It says nothing. You get nothing. Um... And, yeah, I quite like this album, not just because Sonya Edelman looks like Maggie from The Walking Dead, but it's a very, very good album. It starts off with Sensitive Man, you know, this sort of, it's the very basic tune that goes throughout the album, you know, the sort of, no, that's Bobby's on the phone, what am I fucking talking about? Um, that, that just shows you that, it's the sort of tune that goes, that's played throughout the album. Um, then we get to Don't Turn Back into 2008, that's a song I very much like, um, it's sort of, you know, this nice acoustic guitar piece, well, I guess they all sort of are, but, um, and then it's, you know, um, very nice, goes on for two and a half minutes, then it goes into 2008, a bit repetitive, but a song I, again, quite like. And next song is Something in Your Eye. This is a song I really like. John Mouse really likes this. Some other people really like this. And this is the first song that John Mouse actually helped them on. Um, it's a very heavy guitar song. It was one of the Appalachian songs that they played live. Um, very nice, you know, 
departure from Sensitive Man, Don't Turn Back, 2008, stuff like that. And then we go to Underground, once again going back to that sort of, you know, tune, that sort of tone throughout the album. Um, but I still quite like this, it's very bassy, the, you know, vocals are sort of very deep, very... It's a very nice song, you know, very defined lyrics as compared to, you know, Sensitive Man, 2008, and Don't Turn Back, and, you know, You've got something in your eye, it's sort of very, you know, By the concert we could run away... So glad I got to hear you say, or whatever the hell he says, um. Then Nana, the first song on this album I really don't very much like. Not because it's a bad song necessarily, more just because it's very lame for an Ariel Pink song. It's, you know, just sort of the same chorus over and over again. You know, Nana, Nana, she's looking for the good times. I mean, it's a very groovy song, but, <laughs> groovy. Um, but... It's just very boring, you know, it doesn't have any of those really crazy vocalizations, it's just sort of the same melody for five minutes. Uh, yeah, um, I don't really like it that much. And then it goes into Function, which is a very fun song, not necessarily the best, but a very fun song, you know, very bassy, this sort of, you know, club type song, you know. You know, somebody tell me about the rhythm of the fourth floor. Somebody tell me about the rhythm of the dance floor. I need to know about the... You know, um, very nice, upbeat, fun song. You know, and the crazy song voices and stuff and the, you know, b bass beats and the emphasis on keyboards. Just, you know, it's an Ariel Pink song, you know. Very defining in his, like, music. Next is Jack Off, which is the, you know, very 50s, three-chord rock, fun in the sun song. A very fun song to sing along to, very fun live. Um, and Ghost Town is the next one, all the songs great. Um, it's, you know, very heavy guitar and bass, and it's, you know, I don't want to say, like, horror core, but, um, you know, it's, very, like, dark, gritty song compared to, you know, Bobby's on the Phone and Sensitive Man and Damage Done. Um, and then Crash Crash and the Drummer, which I don't like this song. It's the, the guitar is very weird and the vocals are, and then you die, Crash Crash on the Drama. You know, they're not too different from that. Um, it goes on for about a minute and a half. Um, I love her still, I always will. All that song's also another great one. Um, it's very heavy electric guitar, it's very, um, it's a cover of a song by The Outsiders, and the vocals are kind of tinny on this one, you know, it's not very well recording, I'm not sure if it's just that this particular CD was not stored very well, or, like, I don't know what the deal with it is, maybe the recording itself was not done very well, I don't know what the deal with it is, but it's a very good song, I love the, um, you know, just the heavy electric guitar, it's a very good song he's playing. Um, Crusades, I, I don't really like this song. I, I don't know what, I don't know, maybe something's wrong with me. Maybe the damage done is in my brain, but everyone seems to love this album. Yeah, you catch that reference I made. <laughs> um, everyone seems to love this song for some reason. I, I don't really hate it for, not like it for the same reason I don't like Nana. It's, you know, a very fun, upbeat song with the crazy vocalizations and stuff, but... I just don't like it. I don't know why. Maybe I'm crazy. And then it goes into uh, Auto Vaddy, another really good one. Um, the song is, you know, like, once again, sort of the epitome of an Ariel Pink song. You know, the crazy, fun, you know, like, seventh sharp major minor notes, which are hell for guitar for UltimateGuitar.com. Um, and the crazy, chattery vocalizations that you can't make out. You know, this is sort of the opposite of songs, like, Nana and um and Bobby's on the phone, you know, this is what you'd expect from the wacky, zany instrumentalization and the crazy high pitched voices and stuff that you can't make out really. And then the next song, uh Bobby's on the phone, it's sort of the very, you know, sensitive man, tractor man, underground, don't turn back type song. It's the that sort of melody, you know, the Bobby's on the phone Bump ba bump always on the phone Bum. I'm sorry, I probably look like an idiot. Um, but yeah, very nice song, you know, sort of after Auto Vanity Crusades and I Love Her Still and Ghost Town and stuff. It's a very 
calming song, you know, um, and a pretty good song at that. Um, next we have Tractor Man, you know, this is the, this is how the, um, one of the re-releases starts off, I can't remember which one. Um, you know, once again, that same sort of tune, you know, the, um, bum, 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 bum. I'm sorry, I feel like an idiot doing this. And driving to the Grave, everyone's favorite song, you know, it's, um, I was driving to the grave when you noticed I was gay, uh, I, I can't do that very well, but, um, very nice song, you know, so sort of the same melody as that other stuff, but, uh, not really, you know, just more the fact that it has the guitar in it makes it similar. Um, so yeah, that's at least this version of Underground, you know. The only difference really is that, um, Cemeteries, Railroads, after Tractor Man, it goes into Spires in the Snow, which, you know, we all know that song, that's the song that Ariel puts on everything. Yas Dudet, uh, Underground LP, uh, Scared Famous, uh, whatever the hell else he could put it on, because, and with good reason, it's a great song. You know, very bassy, and then the alternate version of Sensitive Man, it's pretty much the same thing, except for, like, a few different notes and the tone is slightly off. Um, now we get to my least favorite part of the video, the re-releases and stuff. Um, first of all, in 2007, on Vinyl International, you got this weird LP thing that... It starts off with Shaven, which actually is from Vital Pink, not Underground. And it's a lot of Vital Pink songs, um... A, a few songs from Scared Famous. For some reason, Ariel seems to not like this, or Fast Forward slash Scared Famous, like... Although, that's sort of a different story. Whenever he releases those, they're all very, like, tinny, compressed, weird pitches. Maybe he just doesn't store them well. Uh, this album, whoever's choosing what gets released doesn't seem to very much like it. And I don't know what's not to like about it. You know, they're releasing the doldrums, but... Uh, and part of Vital Pink alongside the doldrums, that's the epitome of crazy, wacky music, but, you know, this is sort of too weird for them, maybe? I, I don't know what the whole thing with it not getting a proper release is, but, yeah, so, in closing out, love this album. Uh, sorry, I, I couldn't really give you guys a more professionally edited video, but tomorrow I'm going off to the Catskills with a few friends for two weeks, and I really just have, you know, my phone camera to film with, and just me ra rambling, oh man, all the CDs are upside down today, um, yeah, I quite like this album, with the exception of Crash Cross and the drummer, Nana, and Bobby's on the phone, it's a very nice album, very good to, you know, well, you haven't really had the full experience until you've experienced it like I did at 3 a.m. with your friends, Lou, Andrew, and Abby, it's, it's essential that the friends have those names, otherwise you won't get a similar experience, but very fun album to listen to, very, I mean, very, kind of moody at times, you know, the songs aren't really all the same sort of thing, very similar to the doldrums in Vital Pink in that sense, but, you know, these are Ariel's early albums where he's experimenting with his sound, um, and it's very interesting to hear that, it's very interesting to hear what would later evolve into the albums we know and love, you know, Scared Famous, Fast Forward, House Arrest, Lover Boy, Worn Copy, Holy Shit, um, you know, that's the rest of his Haunted Graffiti series, is really started from this. I heard somewhere that Haunted Graffiti was originally going to be 10 Appalachians albums, you know, that would be horrible. Um, so yeah, that's about all I've got to say. This is Sam signing off from this album ramble. I